Hey, what's up guys? Mad Fragger back again with another fragrance review video. And today I want to share with you guys an ombre leather clone from the house of Afnon and it's called Rare Carbon. Now, this fragrance here holds a special place in my heart. And the reason being, um, my favorite fragrance, if you kind of cornered me and uh, I had to say what my favorite fragrance is, is probably ombre leather. I'm a big fan of leather fragrances. Of the, uh, of the leather as a scent profile. And um, I, back when I first started this journey, I had ordered a sample of Tom Ford's Ombre Leather, I think from Amazon. I'm sure I paid way too much for it. And when I got it and I smelled it, I just was blown away. And that was really kind of the inspiration where I decided that I wanted to, that I was interested in getting into this hobby of uh, collecting fragrances. So, you know, um, I, I can't, um, I'm a man of meager means and I couldn't really afford uh, the designer price tag for the ombre leather. So I naturally went in search of a clone of it to try to find a, a clone that I could buy that would get me as close as I could to the real thing. And that's the great thing about clones is that for people who are in that position where you just don't have the financial means to afford a fragrance, but you really, you really like a scent profile, you really wanna enjoy that, then um, you know you can find a good clone, and uh, if you're lucky, you'll find one that's uh, as good as this one is. Um, this here, I've put my nose on probably five or six different Tom Ford Ombre leather clones. Uh, you know, being that it's, I, I mean, I love the scent profile; it's my favorite fragrance. So you know, what I mean, I've tried a lot of different clones, and um, this one is the best in my opinion, uh, as far as scent profile goes as far as performance goes. Uh, atomizer on it isn't the greatest atomizer you ever saw in your life, but uh, man, this thing, it just, it hits. I mean, you I put this side by side up against Tom Ford's Ombre Leather, and uh, in my opinion, this thing matches it note for note in scent, on scent profile. This thing matches it on performance, and the quality is there. Um, they just overall, the Afnon just did a spectacular job on this of getting you as close as they can to ombre leather for this price point. I believe I paid 30 or 35 bucks for this, you know, standard kind of budget clone fragrance prices. So um, for what you're paying for this fragrance, you're getting a lot more quality and a lot more bang for your buck per se than uh than a lot of other clones you know i mean um i got several clones in my collection and uh, a lot of them are really close or uh inspired by a fragrance and then kind of with a twist this one just now this is just my opinion obviously this one i would call a one-to-one -one with ombre leather i think that this is the closest clone you're going to find for ombre leather out there and, um, and at this price point, it's definitely worth picking this up. Big hats off to this fragrance for sure. Um, this thing is a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I get a uh, great performance, 10 plus hours. I get, uh, you get great quality here. Um, the, the scent profile is gonna be right on, like I said, uh, with ombre leather. Now, there are some other clone fragrances that, uh, Ombre leather clone fragrances that are really great fragrances, like for instance, uh, La Yucalam. Uh, you take La Yucalam here by Rasasi. This one has a Tom Ford's ombre leather kind of feel to it, like it's in that ballpark, but there's a lot more like kind of fruity raspberry sweetness in this one here. This one I liken a little closer to Tuscan leather or um, actually in my opinion, uh, to be honest with you, I think that this one is really close to Go Dolphin by uh, Parfums de Marley. Um, Go Dolphin is just an unbelievably uh, gorgeous fragrance. I would say the only real difference between this and Go Dolphin is Go Dolphin is, a, is of course, going to be deeper and richer and just, you know what I mean? Like you're just, uh, just the quality aspect of it. You're just going to notice that there, that the Go Dolphin has just a much richer quality to it. But uh, in my opinion, this one does have a lean to ombre leather. It does kind of, you know, take you in that direction. But there's a couple things going on here that, uh, that differentiate it a little bit. And uh, 
same thing like um, with other clones. Like I have a uh, Marauder's Shield, for instance. That's another uh, ombre leather clone. And this is just a Rack Store $15 Rack Store special um, right here by Marauder. This is Shield Black Leather. And this one doesn't do a bad job of hitting the scent profile, of hitting the fragrance profile. Um, and, you know, obviously it lacks a little in performance because it's a it's just a rack store fragrance. It's a $15 fragrance. But for bang for your buck, for what you're paying for this, for the $15, bucks, um, not a bad fragrance. But, as I stated before, if you want what I consider to be the best Tom Ford ombre leather clone out there that you can get for the money, this is it right here. Rare Carbon by Offenon. This is the end-all, be-all of Tom Ford ombre leather clones in the opinion of a guy who holds Tom Ford's ombre leather in very high esteem. One of my, it's one of, if not my favorite fragrance ever. And just from somebody who loves ombre leather so much, take it from me, this one here is just about as near as one-to-one -one as you can get with a clone and uh, great performance as well, quality, all of it. So... Thanks for watching this review today on uh, your St. Patrick's Day, guys, and I uh, hope you have a happy one. Don't drink too much green beer, and I will see you next time.